English for teachers. Story four, struggle. Hello everyone. Greetings. This is Aisha Siddika. Hope you're bright and shiny. I'm also doing great. Today I want to tell you a story called struggle. So, let's begin. A biology teacher was teaching his students how a caterpillar turns into a butterfly. He told the students that in the next couple of hours, the butterfly would struggle to come out of the cocoon, but no one should help the butterfly. Then he left. The students were waiting, and it happened. The butterfly struggled to get out of the cocoon, and one of the students took pity on it and decided to help the butterfly out of the cocoon against the advice of his teacher. He broke the cocoon to help the butterfly. So it didn't have to struggle any more, but shortly afterwards, the butterfly died. When the teacher returned, he was told what happened. He explained to the student that by helping the butterfly, he had actually killed it because it is a law of nature that the struggle to come out of the cocoon actually helps develop and strengthen its wings. The boy had deprived the butterfly of its struggles. And the butterfly died. Apply this same principle to our lives. Nothing worthwhile in life comes without a struggle. As parents, we tend to hurt the ones we love most because we don't allow them to struggle to gain strength. Hope you like my story. Next time, I'll tell you another beautiful story. Till then, Allah Hafiz. Story five: Failing Boss. Hello everyone. Greetings. This is Aisha Siddika. Hope you're bright and shiny. I'm also doing great. Today, I want to tell you a story called "Failing Boss." So let's begin. Let me share someone's life history with you. This was a man who failed in his business at the age of 21. Was defeated in a legislative race at age 22. Failed again in business at age 24, overcame the death of his sweetheart at age 26, had a nervous breakdown at age 27, lost a congressional race at age 34, lost a senatorial race at age 45, failed in an effort to become vice president at age 47, lost a senatorial race at age 49. And was elected president of the United States at age 52. This man was Abraham Lincoln. Hope you liked my story. Next time, I'll tell you another beautiful story. Till then, Allah Hafiz. Story six, stupid Edison. Hello everyone. Greetings. This is Aisha Siddika. Hope you're bright and shiny. I'm also doing great. Today I want to tell you a story called Stupid Edison. So, let's begin. One day, a partially deaf four-year-old kid came home with a note in his pocket from his teacher. Your Tommy is too stupid to learn. Get him out of the school. His mother read the note and answered, "My Tommy is not stupid to learn. I'll teach him myself." And that Tommy Grew up to be the great Thomas Edison. Thomas Edison had only three months of formal schooling, and he was partially deaf. Hope you like my story. Next time, I'll tell you another beautiful story. Till then, Allah Hafiz. Story seven: Secret to Success. Hello, everyone. Greetings. This is Aisha Siddika. Hope you're bright and shiny. I'm also doing great. Today I want to tell you a story called Secret to Success. So let's begin. A young man asked Socrates the secret to success. Socrates told a young man to meet him near the river the next morning. They met. Socrates asked the young man to walk with him toward the river. When the water got up to the neck, Socrates took the young man by surprise. And ducked him into the river. The boy struggled to get out, but Socrates was strong, 
and kept him there until the boy started turning blue. Socrates pulled his head out of the water and the first thing the young man did was to gasp and take a deep breath of air. Socrates asked, What did you want the most when you were there? The boy replied, Air. Socrates said, That is the secret to success. If you want success as badly as you want the air, then you will get it. There is no other secret. A burning desire is the starting point of all accomplishment. Just like a small fire cannot give much heat, a weak desire cannot produce great results. Hope you like my story. Next time, I'll tell you another beautiful story. Till then, Allah Hafiz. Story 8 Attitude Hello everyone. Greetings. This is Aisha Siddiqua. Hope you are bright and shiny. I'm also doing great. Today I want to tell you a story called Attitude. So, let's begin. Three people were laying bricks and a passerby asked them what they were doing. The first one replied, Don't you see I'm making a living? The second one said, Don't you see I'm laying bricks? The third one said, I'm building a beautiful monument. Three people doing the same thing gave totally different replies. The question is, did they have different attitudes? And would their attitude affect their performance? The answer is a clear yes. Hope you like my story. Next time I'll tell you another beautiful story. Till then, Allah Hafiz.